welcome back to Sip and Spin. My name is Skylar, and over here in an Unasani sweatshirt is Brittany. Hello. This is a variety podcast where we talk about anything, everything, and nothing. Today will probably be a whole lot of nothing. Yes, because, um, get your ears ready because <laughs> we're back in the kitchen. <laughs> Once again, we are back. We're going to be cooking something. Yes, and it is a season finale, so this will also be the last uh, episode of season two. The shortest season in all of existence. Yeah. <laughs> but hey. It happens. <laughs> it is what it is. You get what you get, okay? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be cooking, um, as always, with cooking episodes, headphones, users, beware, you're going to hear kitchen sounds, like banging, clanging, maybe a mixer, some water, you know. Yelling. I don't know. There could be a fire. <laughs> I mean, you just never know. <laughs> but hey, it's fine. So yeah, we're going to cook and we're going to drink red wine. Yes, because it's red wine week. So what are we drinking? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's over there on the counter. It was a Boda Box. It's it, a... It, it's a Boda Box, but I can't remember. <laughs> is, it, is it a cab? It might be a cab. I'll go look. Maybe it's, maybe it's a Pinot. I think it might be a Pinot Noir. It's a Pinot Noir. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you caught me real off guard with that question. <laughs> Actually, it's red. <laughs> it's, it's a red wine. That's all that matters. Yeah, and I feel like I need it, so. <laughs> Cheers. It's red. It's also 1 p.m. and we're drinking red wine. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Trying to beat the we, weather. What are we cooking? Um, <laughs> That's your turn to be unsure. It was her Turn to pick what we were cooking. I know it's a pizza. That's and what it I has, expected you to say. <laughs> oh, and it has <laughs> mushrooms on it. And that's about all I know. Yeah, so we're going to make a homemade, uh, like a mushroom uh, mozzarella onion pizza. Cool. Do you like onions? I wasn't even yeah. sure. Okay, cool. So I was like, we do it on half. I don't own a rolling pin either. Okay, we'll figure it out. I mean, I got a muddler. <laughs> That's, that's about all I have to at the house are our muddlers. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I thought we had a roller pin because when we make like sugar cookies for Christmas, you know. Just, I know you bake a lot. So yeah. I'm like, surely Skylar has a rolling pin. But apparently when we make sugar cookies, we only make it with Lara and Lara brings the rolling pin. <laughs> got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Ash is like, she's a baker. <laughs> Damn. Right. And we'll Lara has entered the kitchen. So. <laughs> there might be barking and little tippy taps and tail things. So, sorry about that. But not just a mushroom pizza, though. We are actually going to make a gluten-free pizza. Uh, because Richard has decided he has to now be gluten-free. Oh, did he finally get back to the doctor? And like... No. Oh, okay. He just still thinks in his head. Uh -huh. um, although, he, we just had beer last night. So, I don't know. Like, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> but I had the stuff already from last week when we were supposed to record. So, we have... Um, non-flower flowers and we're gonna just see what it is but the good thing about that is it doesn't have to rise so yeah. we'll just get to make it really quick which is good because we are in a winter storm morning right now yes. so we're gonna make this pizza we're gonna eat it i'm gonna get home <laughs> yes um and i might have already cheated because i already did make the sauce just because i know we're on a time crunch so it's a homemade sauce well richard made it because it's his italian ways so we have that and yeah I guess we're just gonna get started. All right. How are you? I didn't even ask. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Good. I'm much better. I, the reason we didn't record last week when we were supposed to is because I had uh, bronchitis. Definitely don't have bronchitis anymore. I'm not contagious, but sometimes if I talk too long, I go into another coughing fit. So that's fair. That makes sense. So what role would you like? Do you want to be on the crust role, like doing all that, or do you want to be on like the veggies? Because the sauce is done, the cheese will be easy. That's really the main thing we have to do. And so I, mean, I did write it all out just because I didn't think we wanted to be fighting for my phone. So yeah. it's a little easier. I mean, whatever you want me to do. So I already got the oven preheated. And then it's just in a mixing bowl. And it also didn't know. I know you like, like to be strong and do everything by hand. I do have a mixing bowl we could use. Or you can do it by hand. I don't know how you prefer to make your dough. I do usually always make dough by hand. I just kind of like put it all together. Okay, I mean, I I won't stop your flow. I get my hands in there and like. <laughs> okay, I mean, you're free to go off. Should probably take my wings off though. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> I didn't put any jewelry on. Or I think always have them on, and I kind of forgot. <laughs> oh, I was gonna get your opinion on something. Yeah. I don't know gluten free or 
flowers that well. Okay, so it calls for almond flour and tapioca flour. I already had almond flour from my past. I don't know why I have it. Mm -hmm. Could not find tapioca, but it says that uh, yucca root flour is a good substitute. Okay. So I have that. Or I have just gluten-free all-purpose that would probably replace both. Okay. If that's how that works, right? All-purpose? Yes. Yeah. Everything would just turn to this. Yeah. What do you, What is your call? Like, do we want to be fancy and try the two different kinds, or do we just want to go with a with this? Hmm. I don't do a lot of gluten-free stuff either. <laughs> I have never. Of course, she's got a bone. Sorry for the noises. Let's Let's try to be fancy. Let's be fancy. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Almond flour. One and a third cup. That's not almond flour. I had to do the wrong one. That's okay. And then tapioca goes three to four. So did you do anything for the solstice yesterday? Uh, no. We had um, the distillery's uh, Christmas party. Oh. Um, so we went to Red Foster. And with all of like um, my dad, my mom, my sister, um, the bartenders, their plus ones, the people that work at the warehouse and their plus ones, and then a couple of people that are like always there and like, you know, friends of the family who like are always at the distillery. Yeah. Just like a little Christmas party. Nice. For friends and family. Um, and then we Cheddar went... Bay Biscuits. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we went to the distillery afterwards and played a couple of games. We were supposed to have karaoke because they got the karaoke stuff set up. But then this guy came in and started singing and playing the guitar. It was kind of weird because I was like, Mr. Random guy. Like, I was like, why is he here? I was like, who is this? Okay. It was very odd. I was like, you know what? Whatever. I was like, it's probably fine. There's always a guy with a guitar. There's always a guy with a guitar. <laughs> and he did not sing. Wonderwall by Oasis. Uh, I was wondering, actually. But really. he did sing Chicken Fried by Zach Brown Band, so there was that. <laughs> so there was that. I feel like there are two directions that a guy with a guitar can go, and it's Oasis and <laughs> or Zach Brown Band. <laughs> But yeah, it was just really odd. I was like, who is this and where did he come from? And also, why is he here? Those are fair questions, I feel like. <laughs> Yes, is this comfortable for you? She's laying on you. Uh, just right on my feet. <laughs> she does that so much, actually. It's kind of nice. She's keeping my toes warm. <laughs> as long as you're into it. I just broke the salt. Oh, good. I can't. I mean, I can go this way, but that's not really how you're supposed to do it. No, that's not how you're supposed to do it at all. I can't. I'm not dexterous enough to do that. Come on. I'm trying to like get it for it's coming back. I mean, I out. do have other slots to make it. I wonder if we. Nope. Oh gosh. I was trying to see if we could pour it back out, like and oh, yeah. weight the spout back, but then you're just gonna lose a whole bunch of salt. I think I'm just gonna have to get in there and push it out. Yeah. Rick, if those bees, so you're probably not going to notice it and it's going to pour out all from the top. And this would be really great. Do you have tape? Uh, no, because I was actually supposed to buy some today before and forgot. Oh. I was going to say, you could just tape it back up. Oh, that's like broke. Broke. Try that. <laughs> okay. Do you want to use a mixture or do you want to use your strong muscles? I will use my strong muscles. Okay. And then. A fourth of the water that's supposed to be at room temperature. I mean, it's, it's been sitting out here for a while. I tried to pre do it for you. Mm, it'll be fine. And the oil. Okay. okay. Do you want like a mixer or anything, or do you just like using your hands? Oh no, I'll just use Okay. And it just says if dry, add more water. If too wet, add more tapioca flour, which is this one. But you know what you're doing. Voila, dough. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. Wait, I mean, it was good, but it didn't have anything? No. Alright. Yeah, it's not too dry, not too wet. Uh, which flower do you want me to dust this with? Everything at 
says it says the extra. extra for rolling. Oh, I don't have that. Well, just tell me when. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. <laughs> Get you. That's the bad way. It says we can like form, like fold edges to make a crust if we desire. Okay. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, I'm just rolling it. I really need to buy a rolling pin. <laughs> the thing is, we mention it all the time. And we just never do it. I'm gonna try this again. Okay. <laughs> do what you need to do. Uh, so I discovered a new fun existential crisis recently. Oh, good. <laughs> I got down a rabbit hole of people who know people who have like had comas and people who have been in comas. Uh-huh. Um, and they just talked about how like yeah, like, they just thought they were living any other day. Like, it was completely normal because your brain, like, makes it up for you. Makes you hallucinate, essentially. And there are people who, like, come back and they speak a whole different language because while they were in their coma, they, like, traveled to countries and took classes and learned languages. Or they come and they, like, they think they're dating people that they're not, they don't even know. Hmm. And stuff like this. And so now my new fear is if I'm in a coma and I just don't. Um, so that's really fun. And the burning is terrifying. Yes. <laughs> um, I did not appreciate, um, knowing that information. <laughs> so that's what I've been fixated on for a few days. Oh, good. That and the immediate death theory. Yeah. I think that's what's going on. I don't remember what the title. Explain this to me. Well, I came across, like, people on TikTok reading stories that people have sent in about, like, glitches in the Matrix. Uh-huh. Essentially. And there was this one story that like gave me the creeps because it was also like 2 a.m. Uh-huh. And I was in bed. But these two girls were like getting a tour of this house. And it was like they knew like where it was. They were remarked on the driveway, remarked on the like the store next door with the parking lot and all this. And I was like, it's a cute house and the realtor was just like any other guy, but he's a little weird, but nothing like, like that's just like a real kill sometimes. Yeah. And so they go in, and they're like getting the tour of the house, and he makes a crack about like, wait till you see the master bedroom, you girls will fight over it because of the closet. You know how girls like, you know, clothes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, ha ha, jab jab. And so they go, and they're looking, and like the closet is like weirdly dark and creepy, and he's like trying to get them to go into the closet to look at the closet and he just keeps pushing it to where it doesn't become fun ha ha anymore. Mm-hmm. And so they're trying to like change the subject, go see the rest of the house, but he keeps bringing it back to the closet. Mm-hmm. And they like try to like communicate with each other, like this is really creepy, let's just leave kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then the next thing both of them remember is they're just in their car driving away. They don't remember getting to the car, they don't remember anything else that happened. And then when they came to, like, they both experienced, like, a popping sensation, like, when you change altitudes. Mm -hmm. And apparently, like, everyone in the comments was saying, like, that's the, like, they died. But they immediately came back because that's the thing that apparently is a theory that can happen to people. Oh, good. So, like, everyone's like, that man absolutely murdered you. That's terrible. And your, like, subconscious was, like, you're so young and, like, your soul is there and, like, the trauma, like, it just immediately brought you back, though. Mm-hmm. But then the creepier part is they were like a few days later or whatever they were driving by that same house and it was no longer there. Oh. And it absolutely could not exist because of the layout of the land around it. And so later they're like, so yeah, we probably jumped timelines actually. And I'm like, that is terrifying. That is so scary. <laughs> Thank you very much for a new fear. Also, because I'm like, how many traumatic times have I died, baby? But it's just like, yeah, we can just. Going down really fun rabbit holes, like if they need. It sounds like it. That's where my mental state is. I'm gonna try something a little different. Is it fighting you? Yeah, I'm gonna dust the muddler. Okay. Water. That Let's would probably help. Stick into the muddler. Okay. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> I have not had that kind of week. <laughs> Sick. Yes, I've just been sick, so I have been. Which I, don't, I mean, that's probably worse. <laughs> to be fair. 
Well, I think if I was sick and going through those existential crises, I may have just immediately died. <laughs> that would have been your jumping time stream. It's like, no. I would have just simply quit. <laughs> I would have pulled a Diogenes and just held my breath until it was done. I'd be like, nope, I'm out. And I'm done. <laughs> see what I need to see? Done what I needed to do. I don't need to see anymore. Okay. Yeah. Now there's a cat. Everyone's in the kitchen. Too many cooks. No, but I have been watching a lot of Love Island. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then I went back to Criminal Minds. It's about balance. <laughs> and then um, what if I put a sheet of parchment paper over the dough that might help <laughs> and try to do it that way because this is just not <laughs> it <laughs> probably like having a real rolling pin comes with it and then I'm playing along Stardew Valley as one does to start a co-op with me recently. And every time I try to get him to play again, he's like, I'm not feeling it. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so we're right now. All right, fine, whatever. But I finally, you know, am like killing it on one of my saves. Like I'm so close to perfection. I have shipped every item. I have almost made friends with everybody. Um, caught all of the fish, which fishing is, if anyone knows anything about me, fishing is always in my downfall in Stardew Valley. So I've done that. And then, it's not working over there. It didn't help. No. I'm going to read that the part from there. Try that. Um, but then, uh, I could try dusting it with just all purpose. I don't know if that would help. Well, I could try that. Um, oh, got all the golden walnuts on Ginger Island. But one of my key quests right now, because between the two options I had were, um, do you need a piece of bread? No, I'm good. Okay. Also, we don't have bread. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we are an ingredient puzzle. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm getting a bread maker for Christmas, so that's exciting. Nice. But anyways, what what are you doing? Oh, the key quest that I had, it was ship a hundred and thousand or a hundred thousand gold worth of cooked items. And I was like, okay. I've done that already and it used all of my ingredients and I really just don't feel like doing that again. Doesn't that suck because you've like already done it? Yes. So I was like, you know what? So I picked the other one, which was get fifty thousand points in shoot them apart in this mode. Jesus, I think I'd take the ingredients. Well, <laughs> oh my god. Did you actually do it? No. <laughs> oh. I have spent. Do you know is hard? It I don't is understand it. so hard. I gotta be honest. And I've gotten better at it because I've literally just, I've done nothing but. Yes, exactly. Because, you know, the time doesn't move when you're playing Juno a card. Yeah. So realistically, I could just sit there and do it until I get it. Which I haven't because eventually I get tired of it and I'm like, I'm just going, I'm just going back to the, to my farmhouse. I don't want to do this anymore. That's what I used to do with the Journey of the Prairie. I think I spent like a good amount of time one day just feeding it, finally. But yeah, Journey of the Prairie is not for me. I hate it. I hate it. I don't. I'm not good at it. But last night, so after the Christmas party, we, I got home it was like, you know, did all my stuff and it was like 10 o'clock and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get me a glass of water, turn on Criminal Minds. I'm just gonna play Jingle Cart until I beat it. I keep getting so close. That's, that's what's worse, yeah, too. I keep getting like 40,000, 42,000, 35,000 points and I'm like, damn, how? in the hell am I going to get to 50,000 points? Because sometimes it's just not even fair. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I, have, I have screamed at that a lot. <laughs> it's like you either, um, like when you're trying to make the jump or whatever. Yeah. And then like a rock comes down. 
<laughs> and so it's like, what am I supposed to do? Wait, how do I not? Because if I don't jump, then I fall. But yeah. if I jump, then I hit the rock. Then rock. But then the whale. The whale is what really gets me. The water level, once you get- I don't even know if I've even gotten that far, honestly. I've gotten past the regular, like the first level with like the, basically like the mines or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I got to the ice level. And but then you get to the whale level. And the whale- I can't even know what it's I've never been pressed to get that far. So you're, you're already up on me there. So I got that far. I get to the whale and then the whale like blows bubbles at you and you can like bounce on top of them and it's like you're underwater so you have elongated jumps so the jump time isn't the same and the jump like how long you hold down a isn't the same so that's already like hard enough yeah but then oh, god damn it just press it in there <laughs> you almost got it <laughs> well it's not circular it doesn't have to be circular huh but yeah, and then I finally sometimes will beat the whale level. And then the next level is like dark mines and you get this like blue orb and like the rocks and stuff. If you hit the rocks or the whale bubbles, if you hit the top of them, you can bounce off the top of them and they don't kill you. Well, these little blue orbs, if you hit the top of them, you're dead immediately. And I just can't do it. Damn. Yeah, I, you've put way more effort in Tomb of Earth than I ever have, so more power. Well, I want to finish that key quest. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. I bet you'll get it. It's like you're getting this dough. I mean, I'll think it's, it's pretty round. <laughs> it's a pizza. <laughs> I was like, nothing was working, so then I just dusted everything, and then it actually started happening. So really, I just need to go dust my hands from the start. <laughs> <laughs> the more we know. <laughs> Which sometimes I do if I'm really... Like, if I plan on shaping anything with my hands, like, while I'm baking, I will already have my hands dusted. But since I was like, we're rolling it out, I was like, nah. And then I was like, you know what, we're just going to put the flour on my hands. Here we go. We're just doing what we're doing. Do we want to do a crust or do we want it open? Let's leave it open. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we can do a crust. Okay. I think when they said crust, they just wanted us to do this. Oh. All the way around it. Just to give it, like, you know, a little, yeah. just extra bread. Oh, that should be fine. We could probably do that. But I don't know how into that we were. So pretty. <laughs> Girl, there's a hater. Hey, I only hate my own self and my own work. <laughs> you want to slide the parchment paper out of the floor? Yes. We have this up. <laughs> oh, we're so good. Okay, so we have the pizza dough. Now we're gonna par bake it. Okay. And then bake for seven to ten. <laughs> or until starting to turn gold. You can't see it because it's audio, but <laughs> the little brush she was using to put the oil, like spread the oil on the pizza dough, uh, she started shaking it back and forth and splashed herself in the face with the oil. <laughs> chunks of butter mm -hmm. it's like the home chard whatever so i, I just guess <laughs> every time yeah like and especially when i'm like making eggs or something and buttering the pan like i just slap the thing but i like i don't even look so a lot of times when i'm baking i'm just like this is you this is about right <laughs> <laughs> good enough <laughs> that's, how, that's how you know you've been baking for a long time when you're just like uh, that looks about right <laughs> <laughs> this is fine <laughs> So we got a Christmas card in the mail today. Uh-huh. It's this. Uh-huh. Um, so when you open it, 
it starts playing a song. Uh -huh. And so this one was... Um, like just a cat meowing, meow, 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 and then like more cats would join in for the song or whatever. Cute. Um, and then it doesn't stop even if you close it. And we were like, "What is happening?" <laughs> and so we looked on the back, and the brand is called Joker Greeting. So it's like a joke car. That that's the thing. It won't stop singing unless you destroy it. So we ripped it open to make the music stop, and then glitter came everywhere <gasps> because that's they know that's the only way you can <laughs> stop. Um, so that, that was that was a fun little little gotcha. But like, who sent that to you? Scott, the guy that would do trivia. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> that doesn't shock me. I feel like if anyone was going to, it would be Scott. So yeah, because we were like, oh, Scott sent us a car, and I opened it and played a little song. I was like, oh, this is cute. You're sure Richard. Like, that's so sweet. And then and then I closed it to make it stop, and it did not stop. And I was like. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then we had to do a little investigating, and we had to rip it open, and then glitter, and we were like, God damn it, Scott. <laughs> and we're like, well, now That's I know hilarious. what I need to get my sister and her husband, <laughs> like, every year for their birthday. <laughs> my niece. <laughs> That's what I need to do to my niece. <laughs> I'm sure she would love it. Um, she would just love the music. It would drive them crazy, and then when they'd go to stop it, they'd It's like the later. Frosty, the cement snowman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone heard that story. <laughs> Make great cards. I want 70% uh, of the profit since you <laughs> stole my... <laughs> I told Shelby, I went, Shelby, I know what you can get me for Christmas. And she went, because I was like, you know how I take you shopping all the time and buy you birthday presents and buy you Christmas presents. And sometimes I just take you out shopping and buy you whatever you want, even if it's not a holiday. And she was like, yes. Because you like getting me things. I was like, I do like getting me things. <laughs> you were crap. <laughs> I love getting things for other people. <laughs> Even if it's not a holiday. I was like, but you know what you can get me for Christmas? And she went, what? A $276. <laughs> she went, why? I was like, because there's a festival in Atlanta. And I would really like to go. <laughs> and you think your younger sister will be able to give you $276. She goes, I don't have that. And I went, fair enough. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> well, she gets money for all these birthdays and stuff, but I always buy her stuff. So I'm like, she should have a good chunk of money somewhere. <laughs> Where is she hiding it? <laughs> and the frosty the salmon. One day for breakfast, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make me like a healthy breakfast. I woke up at like 8 a.m. I was like, I'm going to get my day started. I'm going to eat. I'm going to have coffee. I'm just going to relax and enjoy my morning. And I made scrambled eggs and sauteed bell peppers and onions and sausage links. And I was like, this is honestly so good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's always nice when you have a day like that starts like that. We actually like take care of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and I made a good breakfast. Like, I didn't just pour myself a bowl of cereal. Like, <laughs> yeah, didn't just drink eighteen cups of coffee. <laughs> Call it a meal. I actually made scrambled eggs and made sauteed bell peppers and onions and cooked sausage links. And I was like, good for me. <laughs> Very proud of you. And I had orange juice. <laughs> and I drank out of a shot glass. But that's neither here nor there. Whatever. You do what you gotta do. We don't touch here. <laughs> it's literally just like a little, like, thin cup. Of, like, and I'm like, you know what? Just pour the orange juice in there. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I like it. So, for these veggies, it says just do salt and pepper and herbs to mm -hmm. taste. But it doesn't give us any herb suggestions. So, what do you think we should do? Um, I think maybe thyme. Thyme would be good. Would be good. Um, I'm always down basil. for like, well, we're doing fresh basil at the end. Okay. There will be basil like on it. Okay, perfect. Um, but for like the veg, like the mushroom plant, I wasn't sure. Like, I'm always down for garlic. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love garlic. <laughs> um, we can add garlic in time. I am perfectly happy with it. How's our crust looking? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look golden. No, I just said. couldn't see. Oh, <laughs> oh the smoke. Yeah, it is uh, still very pale. Alright, we'll probably add one time. That's fine. Okay. What do you want to do? Um, I did eight, maybe like three more minutes. My, my 
microwave, you hit timer, type it in, and then hit timer again, and then you hit timer to turn it off. Like, the only button you use for the timer is the timer button. <laughs> I've never seen two microwaves work the same, I gotta be honest. That's also very true. So. <laughs> It is what it is. In the break room at my old job, not the one that me and Brittany used to work at together, old job, the old job that, because I'm currently unemployed, so that's new news. Um, <laughs> they had two microwaves, and one of them you had to press like cook time if you didn't want to do minutes, like you'd have to type in like one minute, 30 seconds, and you'd have to hit cook time. And then okay. the other microwave, you could just type 130 to start and it would start, but then the other one you'd have to press cook time because if you hit one without hitting cook time, it's it one minute. One minute, yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of how it is in our house because we have two microwaves and one of them. <laughs> well, just everyone having two microwaves. Then I get the memo. Well, let's see, the break room one makes sense. I'm not really sure why we have two microwaves. <laughs> Do you guys use them both, like for different things? No. Oh. So the one we have is like. Okay, so our kitchen is set up like opposite from yours. Okay. So like if you take your kitchen and then turn it this way, it's kind of closer. Okay. So we have an island in the middle. We have the bar right here. Then we have two long cabinets, our fridge, two long cabinets, and then a hallway door. Okay. And then we have our seven ovens. Stove and oven. Stove and oven. Stove and oven. And then we have the microwave on top of it, and then some cabinets. And then we have like the like counter space, sink, outside window, counter space, kitchen or door to the back of the house. Okay. And then if you go into the dining room, which we have an open floor. So yeah. it's just like the bar and then dining room. Like there's no wall or anything. It's yeah. just the bar. Um, they really remember this. I've been there once. Yes. <laughs> yes. But then when you go like outside of my bedroom is the dining room. Okay. Um, and then like the hallway in the bathroom. And then there's like a baking stand almost. Like, like a baking rack? Yeah. Kind of thing. Okay. And then there's just a microwave <laughs> sitting on, right in there. And then a stereo on top. <laughs> but we've had that microwave since our first house when we used to live like would not like the very first house I ever lived in. I got you. Now how's it looking? It is a pale. It's still pale, but like the edges are starting to get a little crispy on that side. Okay. Maybe two more minutes? I think we think about two more minutes also. But that one microwave that's outside of my room, the old one that we've had since I was like a baby, um, it does not have the cook time, whereas the one above the oven does have a cook time. I gotcha. And we only ever use it when the other microwave is being used. So if someone is heating something up in that microwave, like... I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. But some of the buttons don't work. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Great. So sometimes if I want to put something in the microwave for one minute and 30 seconds, sometimes I have to put it in for 129 because sometimes the zero doesn't work. <laughs> of course. That's funny. That's a very old microwave. And the light doesn't work anymore, so you can't like see inside the microwave because like, the light is broken. I'm guessing. <laughs> We're just like, we hope it's okay in there. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Hello. I, I hear you. She's like, why aren't you guys in the room? Well, I can attack you. She's letting us know how she feels about that. I know. I think we use mushrooms or then. What you want? Yeah? She doesn't know. You can rub on my legs, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Mochi! <laughs> You always gotta be the star. She does. It's getting there on the left side, but really not anywhere else. I mean, it's active, it's, is it par baked? It's gotta go back in there for 15 minutes after we put everything on. Yeah, maybe let's go ahead and take it out because it is getting okay. crispy. Okay. It's like, it's getting golden around the edges. We made a choice. We went ahead and pulled out our crust. Now we're going 
to make it and throw it back in there and I hope it's good. <laughs> I just wish for the best. <laughs> um, if you want to grab the cheese, it's in the door on the very top. It's still a little bottle. Ta -da. And then I guess dry it. And then if you just want to just do it in like rough chunks or slices, however you want to do it. Good. You have vaguely diced mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we could just put it off like that. Because you can do the big slab and like trickle it in right here. Oh, yeah, true. Because I mean, I'm never going to complain about a big hunk of mozzarella, <laughs> gotta be honest. I was just nervous doing the initial cut. I don't like cutting things in ball shape. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's it's something true. I did not know about you. It stresses me out. Just because, like, you want it to be perfect? No, it's just round, and I'm worried I'm going to slip. Oh, okay. That, okay, that, that's fair. Because the only time I've ever cut myself was when I was, like, which, to be fair, I was, like, a little bit of a baby. Um, I was, what like, were you cutting a, a ball of when you were a baby? <laughs> An orange. Okay. I couldn't figure out how to peel it, so I thought I would just cut it and then eat it off of the rind. Yeah. So I was trying to cut it on the cutting board because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Right. But it was not working because the orange kept moving. <laughs> and then next thing I know, my dumbass picked up the orange in my hand and tried to cut it in your hand. Tried to and put the knife all the way through the orange and through this part of my finger. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, that'll do it. So now anytime I cut something in ball shape, I get just nervous. Well, you could have said something. I wouldn't have asked you to do it. <laughs> I didn't know. You're trauma. Well, I'm a grown adult now, and I know not to put it in my hand. <laughs> but do, still, do you? Can we clear that up? It still just does make me a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, I cut carrots the other day, which they're not exactly <laughs> ball shaped, but... I say, it's not really a ball. You know, is it the prettiest pizza? No. <laughs> is anything we ever make the prettiest? Hopefully, it tastes good. Hey, my salmon things were pretty. They were. They were very pretty and they were very delicious. <laughs> I begged her to make me for, make them for me again. You did. You even like got the recipe and everything. I did. I got all the ingredients. I was like, please. <laughs> Can you just cook it? <laughs> made vegetable soup so we have like Ooh. oh my god our pan it's probably about this this wide mm -hmm. and about that tall you gotta make a lot of soup just full of vegetable soup that's what I was cutting carrots for I gotcha my mom cut the potatoes I cut the carrots I put the tomatoes and green beans in and she did the lima beans and corn and the chicken we did chicken this time instead of beef usually we do beef vegetable soup but this time we did chicken vegetable soup I the sound. <laughs> good. I love soup. It is good. Especially because something that I didn't realize, which I think I told you about it, just because when I was trying to make vegetable soup myself, um, it didn't quite taste right. Uh-huh. I didn't know, like, which once I learned, because I learned this, like, a couple years ago when she told me, you put sugar in there. Because sugar activates tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I did not know that until she told me that. I was like, oh, you learned something new. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of sugar in that sauce because of that, yeah. Yeah. I guess I didn't know, like, that was the reasoning, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I do know, like, on well, tomato-based things, there is sugar. You never, you never would think that you're, like, salt. Yeah. yeah, you would never think sugar. So when I was making the vegetable soup, I was like, I didn't think to put sugar in there. I just, you know, did what I normally do, like, you know, make the broth, like, 
Well, it's like when people make curry, which is really like savory <clears throat> and it can be really spicy, uh, a big ingredient that all people don't realize can be apples for the sugar and the sweetness that kind of takes at least the bite Mm -hmm. out of the heat but still makes it like an enjoyable spicy it yeah. brings out the curry flavor fun fact yeah but that's what i learned it was like sugar activates tomatoes i was like oh, okay cool i learned the curry thing from a video game <laughs> sometimes it teaches you things i i hey, never hear me hating on video games no that's why it was like when we were playing that trivia game and it was like what fish is like you know tr can be turned into caviar i was like I know this. Valley prepared me. I was like, I know this. Because <coughs> it is the first thing, the second I get all the stuff to make a fish pond, and the first sturgeon I catch, it's going right in that fish pond so I can make caviar for the missing bundle. Yep. <laughs> yeah, when we, uh, we started our, when I made Richard start a farm with me, we did the remix bundles. Mm -hmm. So for, for the greenhouse, one of our bundles is we have to get like 99 caviars. And I'm like, it's going to be a while until we get um, the greenhouse, apparently, because we don't even have a fish pond. You can't even catch sturgeon yet. And I'm like, yeah, because sturgeon right. only happens in fall, fall, and, fall winter. and winter. So we're only in summer. Oh, okay, good. And I'm like, damn it. I tried it. I like to get the greenhouse first year, but. I do, I do too, because I, I like to get it before winter, because I want to have that greenhouse, so I still have crop production throughout the winter. Yeah, I want to get to go, because I like to get, um. I just want like my good, I want my strawberries to keep coming. Like I want all my yeah. keep coming stuff, and it's not looking good because it's like it's a ridiculous bundle. It's like ninety nine caviar, and it's something else crazy, like caviar, like a caviar dish. Also, like it's just like three different caviar things. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. But I mean, three of bundles. You never know what you're gonna get. You don't. And like, I keep getting. Just keep it interesting. I keep getting the bad ones, like the bad remix, like the worst remixes you can get is the ones I keep getting. I'm like, why can't I get the flower bundle where I just have to grow flowers? I think we have that one also going right now. The flower no, one. I got 500 sap, so I had to. Spend, oh, I have that one too. So I had to cut down a lot of that trees. One wasn't too bad. That one's not too bad, but and then I got like the rare fruit. And then, no, like, so I had to get an ancient, ancient fruit, fruit, ancient fruit also, or a rare seed. So we have that one going also. And then I would have to, I still kept getting the, because the ones I wanted to kick out were the quality crops. I hate doing the quality crops, especially for spring. We didn't get that one this time. That's what I want. I want to not, <laughs> but I still have it. And what I get is not only the quality crops, but it will be, instead of like five quality uh, parsnips, it's like, please hand me five quality cauliflower. I'm like, Oh, yeah, because I was I always brace myself for the five quality like that's what I focus on for the greenhouse But that might be what the caviar replaced. So that's not much but, like I think I'd rather have the quality Gotta be honest. Or something replaced it. That's kind of annoying. I can't remember which one it was mm -hmm. Every time I remix for the bulletin board, I keep getting the home cook bundle So I keep having to get like a hundred wheat flour. I'm like, I don't even like having a mill that much That is a lot Eventually, I'll just save up enough money. I'll just buy it all from Pierre and just put it in there. Yeah. That's the good thing. Is just get money and then buy everything you need. Yeah. <laughs> for my first couple of community centers um, stuff for fishing, I would get the fish from the traveling cart instead of trying to fish it. But now I've actually fished up, done to where I actually complete the fishing bundle by actually fishing. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Mm-hmm. I got pretty good at fishing. I mean, a good fishing strategy, if anyone is struggling, is when you get that first pole, a pole that sucks, make yourself, in spring, the first rainy day, just make yourself catch catfish. It's really annoying, but it makes everything else so much easier. And if you do it on the base pole, you don't ever have to upgrade until iridium. Because mm. that's what I do. I just make myself catch all of the hard fish with the very basic pole. And if you're able to do that, it makes every other fish so easy and then it also makes the harder fish easy from the beginning and you're like oh it's a breeze that sounds so good at fish like it's just because i make myself catch the hard fish in spring so i make myself make myself first catch the catfish because i think that is the hardest on a base pole in mm -hmm. spring and then that makes the eel really easy and then that makes um the other ocean fish pepper the fish. pepper fish really easy also and then you're able to just knock them out see i always just have like I have my iridium pole, and then I have level 10 fishing, and I use the, 
I can't remember what it's called, but it's the bobber that's like the, it looks like a wood cork and it makes your bar just a bit bigger. Oh, okay. And I'm like killing it. <laughs> and then to catch the legend fish, I ate one of the, the sea foam, foam puddings. So then I had level 14 fishing mm -hmm. and a bigger pole or a bigger bar because of my bobber and then managed it. It took me a couple tries, but I did it. That is the way to do it. It does make it a lot easier. Every now and then I will challenge myself. I'm like, don't use anything <laughs> special for the legendary fish. And then I usually get mad and I'm like, I'll just eat a pudding. <laughs> but I always, I never like, I don't like the bobbers. Mm. So I never use them unless I like, someone gives them to me or I fish them out. And I'm like, I don't want to take up inventory space. So then I just use it because I have to. I don't like buy them or make them or anything. See, I do both. I will buy, but that is the only one I get. It's the one oh, that makes one. your bar bigger. And then I will buy I kind of like the treasure one. It's probably the only one I like mm -hmm. just because I like Getting catching stuff. treasure. Yeah. <laughs> Give me more things. Give me all the things. But what I do is I have a fishing chest. Like I have, I have my mining chest, my workbench, then my a resource chest and then my workbench is in between the two of those. Mm -hmm. I have a vegetable chest, a fruit chest, and that's what I use for jams or like the preserve jars and yeah. kegs. And then I have a fishing chest where the special fish that I don't want to sell just because they're pretty and I don't want to get rid get of them. You get a fish tank. <laughs> yes, but my house already has, I have a room, I have an aquarium room and all my fish tanks are full. So, so you're just hoarding these poor fish and yes. just hoarding these fish and chests and then that's where I keep like my fishing buffs and like my old poles because you I like yeah. I mean technically I could throw them away because I'm never gonna use them again but do you make your fishing chest blue yes <laughs> that's what I do <laughs> and then I have oh Jesus Christ my I mean what do we think <laughs> it's overflowing but it's fine okay maybe like five more minutes for the cheese yeah, the cheese needs to... Let's get three more minutes to start before we do a full five. <laughs> it's going to be a sloppy piece. Because <laughs> it's all set up. It's like mining chest, workbench, resource chest. Yeah. Um, and I technically should call it the farming chest because that's where wood, hardwood, pathing, um, like farm totems, honey, all the things yeah. you get from tappers. All that's in that chest. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I guess I should call it like mining, farming, workbench. And then I have vegetable, which is green. Yes. <laughs> and then I have uh, empty space. And then my fruit one, which is pink. Okay. I was going to say pink or red. <laughs> and then I have my fishing chest, which is blue. And then right next to it is my farm decorations like that you get for rewards, like all the paintings and the bear and... I just got to the point where I just leave those at the museum. All the extra scarecrows and all the extra sprinklers, like the quality sprinklers since yeah. now I have Iridium, they're all in that chest. All the torches, since I have like lamp posts and stuff, they're all in that chest. And then I have the gifting chest, which is where I put all loved gifts in. And that one's like a slightly different shade of pink. Nice. I like it. Picasso. Okay, I like it, Picasso. You put those in the hood? Yes. I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> Have you not heard that TikTok? I don't go. No, it is my favorite. <laughs> I got you. Let's not be on that side of TikTok. <laughs> These days, it's just the AI manga filler or filter. I've it's, been seeing a lot of those. It's all I have. People just trying to give themselves boobs or using it to like find ghosts. I don't. I don't think I've heard <laughs> that one at all. This is the original video though. <laughs> it's just like a four wheeler turned upside down. <laughs> That's not worth it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, TikTok sounds. Do you more wine? Please. I'm surprised you actually drank it that fast. I I know. Good I really think I just should stop saying I don't like red wine. I just don't think I prefer red wine. Cause once I have like, that's fair. Once I have like one drink, like the first drink is like a bit of a shock, but then the rest of it, I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's kind of how I started with white wine, yeah. Um, <laughs> I still don't quite know. I mean, we 
I had two more minutes? Should we move it down? Like, I don't know if that would help. Yay, not knowing what we're doing. Well, let's just leave that out. Okay. okay. We'll need it again. Coughing's so annoying. It really is. Especially when that's all you've, like, been doing. You get so over it. And it's like, I'm just glad that my chest no longer burns whenever I cough. Because that's what it was. That's how I knew. I was like, okay, I need to go see my the clinic. Because every time I coughed, it was like burned and ached right like underneath my sternum and I was like that's when you know I was like oh, I gotta go <laughs> and then yeah. they were like because um which this is gonna be TMI but because JC she was like how did they know that you had bronchitis like at the clinic uh they were like how did they test for that I was like oh because I described to them that every time I cough my chest burns and it aches and this is gonna be TMI, but they when I coughed, they asked me to spit it out so they could look at it, and they were like, "Yeah, you have viral bronchitis," <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, lovely." I mean, yeah. Say what you. I mean, spit tells you a lot when you don't feel good. It does, like depending on like color, color texture. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's gross, but it's gross, but it does. <laughs> it tells you what's up. Yeah. They were like, yep, you have bronchitis. That was like perfect. So they gave me like a prescription grade cough syrup basically, which I just napped. Literally every time I would take the cough syrup. Just knocks you the fuck out. <laughs> literally like 30 minutes later, I would start going like this and I would try and force myself to stay awake. And then I just couldn't. And I would just fall asleep for like a couple hours. And then I wake up and I'm like, okay, nice. Well, I don't know if I've ever had prescription grade cough syrup. Well, it'll knock you the fuck out, let me tell you. <laughs> no? No. I don't, I can't tell. <laughs> I've never tried to cook a pizza before, so I don't really know. <laughs> the cheese looks melted. And then the crust looks crusty. <laughs> yeah. It's well, not too soft. It's too hard on the side. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> How basically do you like it? You like basil? I love basil. Okay, cool. Same. Go for it, jump in. Oh. <laughs> if you want. A lot of times when I make um, Moscow mules at home, I will add, uh, I always add the blackberries. Mm -hmm. And I'll either buy like mint or basil. Oh, yeah. And I'll put that in the mule as well with the blackberries. I'll either have a blackberry and basil or I'll have a blackberry and mint. I do, I do love basil and like cocktails. Mm -hmm. I like rosemary cocktails too. I've never tried rosemary that cocktails. Nice little, I like rosemary and like, um, well for me, like a Jack and Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. A little spray of rosemary. It's really nice. Okay, see, and I always drink, people made fun of me at the bar when I ordered uh, buffalo and I ordered buffalo and Diet Coke. And they were like, why'd you get Diet Coke? They're like, you don't need to watch your calories that much. I was like, it's not about that. <laughs> no. People who are always like, it's just, it's, Diet Coke is really not good for you. You're like, bitch, I don't like the taste of Coke. I like Diet Coke's taste. It's like whiskey is already sweet enough. And the only reason I get hangovers is because of sugar content in drinks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if I'm drinking a whiskey drink, I don't need the extra sugar that's in Coca-Cola. Like, let me have a Diet Coke and whiskey, and I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I drink, I mean, I, because I just drink Diet Coke. I put Diet Coke in all of my cocktails. And yeah. It's like, Coke, I just replace those. Those Diet Coke. Yeah, either that or Coke Zero. Just something that doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. Because one, it keeps you from getting a hangover. And two, it tastes better because it's not so sugary and syrupy sweet, which is not what I want in a drink. I yeah. like refreshing i like something that is like gives you a little boost yeah i guess i should take a picture for <laughs> before we forget it's a pizza it's a pizza maybe <laughs> hopefully right, i hope we didn't overcook the crust trying to get this cheese to this part the edges are a little tough but i think that's our fault not knowing what pizza cheese looks like. Oh my god. Okay. Great. And then it's fine. But I, I mean, I love really crispy pizza, so mm -hmm. I'm like, I'll be fine. Richard will probably make it. Fine, he'll get over it. <laughs> Gluten free for him. How's it look? It looks good. <laughs> It's probably overcooked a little bit. Uh, it's a little crisp. We weren't, um, 
Um, you pull it that way. Like, you aren't sure on some things. So, so we did our best. Yeah, be good. So we have a pizza. <laughs> I mean, do I just want to stand in here and eat it? We can, so that way you don't have to move the microphone. <laughs> this pizza. I'm like, I just grabbed it. <laughs> I'm surprised it stayed together. It has a lot of cheese. Well, we like cheese. <laughs> I do too, but damn. I don't know if it needs like to be more salted or whatever, but there's that. I can't pick mine up. You got me a fork, guy. For this pizza. I think that was pretty good. It's good, yeah. <laughs> it is cheesy. It's very cheesy, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad. It turned out a lot better than what I thought it was going to turn out like. Yeah, like the um, the crust, like the sauce and everything is on, isn't overcooked, I don't think. It's just like the edges are a little crispy, but I like a crispy crust. Oh, we just made a thin crust pizza. <laughs> Richard doesn't seem to like it. I'm eating it. It looks good. Oh. It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> Shirt, Richard. Oh, nice. It's from the nice. <laughs> it's like you dressed for our mushroom pizza. Episode. It's an old school now. I say old school. I bought it in 2006. <laughs> and I mean, red wine goes pretty well. It does. It goes with pizza. It goes with mushroom. That's the same year my car was made. <laughs> That's the year I graduated. So in four years, it'll be considered a classic. Wait, what year? When did you graduate? 2006. I want to guess. Um, five years ago. 2017. That's close. So I graduated 11 years after you did. What do you mean you were close? Wasn't that five years? I don't know. I'm not good at math. 17, 18, 21, 22. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you got it right. What do you mean? How do you like a piece you can actually hold? I like it. Okay. It's easier to eat than the piece I had to cut before. Yeah, I don't know why that one was so tough, but pour it up. Yeah, it's very good. I do think like the extra salt helps it. Because mm -hmm. the first piece I did, that second, that little baby piece, I didn't. The salt definitely. But I'm a salt person, so. I'm very proud of us. Yeah. We ate this whole pizza. <laughs> we did. But it wasn't like a giant pizza. Or no, it wasn't. We both had like, oh, well, had like three sizes. Mm -hmm. so. That's gonna make it. Which is very normal for pizza. <laughs> Especially with the crust. And it's gluten free, so it's not even like it's all that bad. I think you can negate the gluten free with the amount of cheese you put on it. <laughs> Shh. Shut up, Richard. <laughs> no one asked. It's not your podcast. <laughs> it's healthier because they, there was no gluten. <laughs> exactly. And the red wine. Wash it down with makes it very healthy. We're getting our fruit intake as well. <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> and the wine. The wine oh. is mainly what I was talking about, oh. but that too. So all the fruit. <laughs> so would you eat it again? Yeah. I like it. But it's good because we have another mozzarella ball and I don't have any other ideas. So. <laughs> I'll be making this again soon. <laughs> I'm proud of us. Yeah, that was good. So far in all the cooking episodes, we haven't had like a disaster. Like everything's actually turned out pretty nice. Yeah, I don't think we've ever like been grossed out. No gross out. No gross out. No kitchen fires that I'm aware of. Yeah, I think no, none. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. And we didn't yell at each other at all this time. It was a very mellow recipe. Like, it was a very quick, simple recipe. And, like, a lot of people, like, hate on gluten free, but I think it still tasted pretty good. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have to wait for it to rise. Like, it was quick. If we knew what we were doing more, probably could have made it in, like, an hour with everything. Yeah. And there's sauce left over. I just there's had to, like, redo the, <laughs> the dough, like, six times. <laughs> but it, you got it. Mm -hmm. And I, it was good. I got like the crispy edge. Mm -hmm. Go us. All right, well, that was a successful cooking episode, I say. We're not us if we don't only talk about Stardew Valley on this podcast. Yeah, when so. we have nothing else to talk about, just know you will hear a lot about Stardew Valley. Uh, so yeah, that was the, the last episode of the season. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, thanks for being here for season two. We know I had a rough start, a late start. 
But we will catch you after the new year. We'll be back with season three. And I think what we're going to do, or what we're going to try to do, is make a whole year be a season. Yeah, that's our goal. That was our goal last year, too. Yeah, we just had a late start because we had some things happen that were out of our control. But church bells, here we go. (laughs) It's like they know. It was it. They started a minute early. (laughs) It is 2.59. It is not time. It really is. (laughs) They knew we were saying goodbye, and they wanted to say goodbye as well. So, say farewell to the church bells. Cheers to the church bells. (laughs) It's not as loud down here, though. It's not, because we're not right by that window. Yeah. (laughs) We're kind of in the middle. (laughs) But that's what happened last season, so... But I think we'll be a lot better about staying on top of the next season, because, as we said last episode, our YouTube is still going to be going every week, as long as we can. You know, bad weather might make things change, but... For so right now we're on schedule for a release every Tuesday. So yes, so I think that'll keep us on track. Also, for when we come back for the podcast. Yes, yeah, so keep keep an eye out on our YouTube channel, and we will see you in the new year for season three of Sip and Spin podcast. Yeah, so let's see how it's gonna start. Yes, yeah, so what? Are, let's find out. Only half. Different drink. Oh, okay. (laughs) So our season three premiere, our topic is going to be paranormal. And then our drink is going to be a drink we like. So we're starting off the season well. Nice. I like it. It bodes well. (laughs) Um, It's going to be a good start. I think so. It'll be fun. Yes. So happy holidays. Merry Crisis. Mary Chrysler. (laughs) Yeah. Mary Chrysler. It's Christmas. Yeah. Stay safe. (laughs) Don't go out if the weather's bad. No matter how much you feel like you need to, just be safe. Wearing your mask if you feel froggy. Yeah. If you would like to find the podcast, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, at Sip and Spin Pod. Definitely keep an eye out on our YouTube, like we said. And then um, you can email us at sipandspinpod at gmail.com. If you'd like to find Brittany, you can find her at Whimsy Dream or Whimsy Dreams. If you would like to find me, I'm at Gleam YKS. But as always, all three link trees will be down in the description below. Yes. Uh, hope your 2023 is better than 2022. <laughs> yeah. It's been a shit show. So hopefully next time is better. <laughs> I will sip. With you next year. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) Thanks for listening.